power of prayer and fasting. Part 5. Hey, the window for empowerment has been opened. Don't take exemption. The window of spiritual awakening has been opened. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Somebody just woke up. Somebody is revived. Somebody is making wave. Benefit of fasting and prayer. Number one, empowerment. Fasting empower the human spirit. Number two, spiritual awakening. That's the one we just finished in the first service. Spiritual awakening. You are revived. When we wait upon the Lord, fire comes upon our spirit. And when you are revived, you will not use Jesus to write the shoe. Uh, uh, only those who are sleeping, uh, things slip off their hands. You know? And I told you in the first service, it's not normal when you lose your job. It's not normal when things were happening and all of a sudden they stop happening. Things should happen all the time. In fact, you should happen. Shout it, I happen. 2021, I happen. I'm the happening person. I'm alive. I'm strengthened. I'm energized. You know, I'm revived. You know, no downtime. My battery is not out. I am energized. I'm recharged. Praise the Lord. I want you to get yourself set. And it takes prayer to revive yourself. In the first half, I told you, little prayer here, little prayer there. Prayer in the toilet. Prayer when you are eating. When you are revived, they will put food on the table and say, let us pray. And in three hours, you are still praying. (laughs) When you are revived, when it's time to break, you are still you are still kabashing. When you are revived, you forget whether you have broken your fast or not. At 7 p.m., you are asking yourself, have I eaten? I, okay, I think I ate, and you have not eaten. Something is... You lose consciousness of... of what move men? They don't move you. You operate at another level. It's consciousness of the spirit. You begin to see things. That's what it says in Joel 2.28. Your young men will see vision. They begin to operate beyond human energy, human strength. I pour my spirit upon all flesh. So, what makes you human? Suspend them because of the enablement of the spirit. I pour my spirit upon your flesh. And your sons and your daughters, they begin to speak words of power. That's prophecy. Words of power. What they say in January is what they see in November. Words of power. I speak that word into your life. 2021, you will not fail. The words I speak to you, they are spirit. And they are alive. It takes a revived soul. And out of your belly flow rivers of living water. From you go forth the water of life. And anybody who touch that water, they get healed, get, get delivered. Do you know everywhere you go this year, there will be revival? Healings, miracle, transformation. In the name of Jesus. Number three, benefit of prayer and fasting. Number three, Isaiah 58, verse 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To lose the band of wickedness. Please make sure your amen is louder than that of your neighbor and pray amen, say amen and pray in tongues. No member of this church will remain in any form of bondage after this fast. Isaiah 58, 6 says to lose the bands of wickedness. So if there is anything around your life that is wicked, satanic affliction, right now in this service, I declare you loose. 
somebody you are delivered from evil dream Amen. nightmare Amen. I command that bands of wickedness to be loose forever Amen. is this not the fast that word is this not the fast mean this is what this fasting will do deliver those who are under the bondage of Satan to loose the bands of wickedness to undo the heavy body whatever load you have been carrying in the last Sunday I told you the reason you are fasting Isaiah 10 27 is because you have grown fat so the yoke shall be destroyed because you have grown fat you have grown fat spiritually there is fatness in the spirit so the cage they used to put you you can't stay there anymore praise the Lord I, I train puppy and anytime my, my dog give bad, when the puppies are small, the, the, the gates, they can pass through. But as they go big, it will get to a point when they try to pass through, it will be difficult. But after some time, they can't pass through anymore. Why? They have grown fat. When they were puppy, they passed through that gate. The mother can't pass through that gate. She's too big for that gate. But at a certain time, they just go through nothing. But after some time, you go there after some week, they become big and they can't pass that grade anymore. He said the bands shall be destroyed because you have grown fat. Amen. As you grow fat, the cage they put you, all of a sudden you can't stay there anymore. I'm bigger than this. Somebody I want you to shout, say 2021. 2021. I'm bigger. I'm bigger. Stronger, stronger. Than the adversary. Than the adversary. <laughs> so he can't cage you. He can't cage you. When those dogs are puppy, everybody play with the dog. You carry the dog, you play with them. But when John Gumacho, <laughs> you go there and you try to touch the dog, it back at you. In fact, you cannot even come near. By the kind of, uh, he's telling you, I am doing territorial integrity check. This is my territory. You don't come near. When you knock on the deck, he back at you and says, stay where you are. And you say you are anointed. I mean, one of you visited me uh, one December uh, and uh, I have three of them loose at the compound. And the man, I don't know whether he just feel that uh, I carry Holy Ghost <laughs> and no get break. <laughs> you know. He just opened the door and he entered and I shall not tell you the rest of the story. With his anointing, he, <laughs> he went back outside and jammed the cage. Pastor, pastor, pastor. <laughs> In my bedroom, I was just laughing. <laughs> you don't come near, near if the gate is not open for you. And sometimes you knock the gate. I say, give me five minutes. Five minutes, I'm trying to calm them down and say, okay, let's go. <laughs> and you lock them, then you can open for the man to come in. When we don't lock, I mean, we, you, I mean, sometimes the gate is open, these guys are in charge. And deliberately we open the gate. <laughs> Just to look for an intruder into that premises. Those guys, they fix anything. anything. This is supposed to be you. Demon come near your territory say, hey, out! You are not welcome here. That's what they do. They maintain the territorial integrity of that house. Sincerely, I don't need a security man. Sincerely. When you knock and you hear, whoa, 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 whoa. They tell you, we, we are here. But, I mean, I'm just still looking for one of our pastors who is heavily anointed. Just come. <laughs> when Pastor Nee comes to my house, he respects himself. He, he doesn't go there. My closeness to you does not guarantee your closeness to those guys. They, they maintain, they hate visitors. 
maintain their integrity of, of, the, of, of the environment. This is supposed to be you in 2021. Any intruder you bite. Anybody who, who is not welcome. This year in my life, sickness is not welcome. I don't know about you. Shame is not welcome. Poverty, not welcome. Reproach, not welcome. Is this not the fast I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness? To let back the scripture, verse 6. He said to undo the heavy burden and let the oppressed go free that he may break every yoke. But my emphasis, verse 8, is my emphasis for this number 3. My emphasis is number 8. He said, then shall your light break forth as the morning. Then shall your light break forth as the morning. Verse 10. He said, if you draw out your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, he said, then shall your light, again the light is coming, your light rise in obscurity and your darkness shall be noon day. Make sure your neighbor, amen, is not louder than your own. I command every darkness in your life to turn to light. Every area of your life where there is darkness, there is shame, there is reproach, I speak as a servant of God this morning and I declare, let there be light. Your darkness as noonday. As noonday. Your noonday will not be turned to darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not go down at your prime. Who am I praying for? They won't cut down your destiny. Every attack of the enemy against your life and destiny will fail forever. Prayer and fasting terminate darkness. When we fast, Isaiah 58 verse 8 and verse 10, he said, your light will break forth as the morning. Your darkness will become as noonday. <laughs> noonday is the strength of the sun. At 12 p.m., the sun is shining at its peak. He said, then your darkness. You know, this is what the Lord is saying this year. You will come from extreme poverty to extreme prosperity. Yeah. Then shall your darkness be as the noonday. You will come from shame to glory. Yeah. You will come from failure to success. Yeah. You've come from nothing to more than enough. You will come from reproach to become a celebrity. Then shall your darkness as noonday. I tell you, as we progress in this year, you'll be seeing glory. I see somebody in this church shouting glory. Reacid. Give it a better rehearsal. So when the alert comes this year, what will you shout? When they release your result, what will you shout? Your last interview, what will you shout? Glory. 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 You, you, are, you are just rejoicing. No occasion of sorrow. <laughs> No occasion of shame, no occasion of his glory. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Everywhere you go, glory. Have you heard about glory husband? When the guy proposed, what do you shall? Glory. Then you come to your friend and say, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. He has proposed. <laughs> glory, glory proposer. This year, no bad markets. Yeah. Glory. Glory. 
All those credit people, Holy Ghost fire. Glory. Glory husband, glory wife. Glory children. Glory, glory ministry. Glory members. Glory workers. Glory pastors. Somebody shout glory! That's what we'll be shouting this year. Glory, glory. He's done it. So number three, benefit of prayer and fasting is revelation. Light. Light from heaven. And that light terminates darkness. Revelation is number three. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine. For what has come? Your light has come. Your light has come. And when light come, where's darkness? At the sight of light. What happened to it? Have a corner of the grains of time. Somebody shout it! As I look your face, as I look your face, what I'll happened? I'll be turned the light. Oh. When it's darkness at the sight of light. You're the light that makes my face shine bright. Makes my face shine bright. As I look your face, I shout it. I become It fizzles away. Since creation, darkness can't stop light. When you see darkness, you shout, Let there be light. And before you know it, Okukum. It just changed from darkness to light. And that's why you are moving from shame to glory. Poverty to prosperity. Failure to success. Light has come. Darkness go. This platform of waiting upon the Lord is the platform of light. Then shine your light. Break forth as the morning. And your darkness is turned to noonday. No more darkness. No more shame. Arise, shine, for your light is come. Please, fasting time is revelation time, encounter time. The word you see determines what will happen in your word. What you encounter in your word, in the word of God, will determine what will have happen to your word. Isaiah 61 is where we are reading. It says, Arise, shine, your light is come. The glory of God. Light will give you glory. The glory of God is risen upon you. Habas 2 says, darkness may cover the earth. Gross darkness the people. He said, but the Lord shall arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen upon you. I pray for you. 2021, we will see glory. You know, that's what I say you'll be shouting. When will you be shouting again? shall be seen upon you. Shall be seen upon you. What's your name? What's your name again? Uh, what's your name again? You know, so this year you'll be hearing Joseph glory. 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 Glory is my name. Favor is my name. Honor is my name. But look at that verse 2. He said, in the world of darkness, Darkness. darkness shall cover the entire world. He said, but, somebody shall burn. But. but the Lord shall rise upon you. And what will now happen thereafter? His glory shall be seen upon you. And verse 3, he said, Gentile 
shall come to your light. Ah, there is something called my light. Paul call it our gospel. My light, customized light, Joseph light. Then shall all the unbelievers come to your light. And you are not going to attract any other people. See, as the Lord liveth, where you are today will be the minimum in life. I want you to, to say it violently. Shout it this morning. Say, I refuse to be small. Gentiles shall come to your life. And kings, royalty, president of nations, governors of this world, beginning from this service, you will not attract smallness. He said, kings will come to the brightness of your rising. This your light must shine. You know, it's small as the children were singing, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it, oh, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Will you allow your light to shine this year? It's time for light. Then your light will shine as the morning. It's time for light. And make sure you find your own light in the world. When light come, glory come. When light come, favor come. When kings begin to look for the brightness of your eyes. That boy from Shomolu, that boy from Bariga, that boy from Fade, that boy from Lagos. And people are coming all the way from Canada to look for you. All the way from America to look for you. All the way from Europe to look for you. That little light you carry, let it shine. The world is waiting for you. You don't know what you carry. The world is waiting for you. It's time to shine. It's time for glory. It's time for favor. And listen to me. If it is smallness, it's not for your portion. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. Not any other person. A boy wears slippers and is coming to prepare, pro, propose to you. You say, no, you miss road. <laughs> no, 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 it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Get thee behind me, Satan. So I say, Pastor, can't you wear slippers and propose? You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. <laughs> Praise God. This year, you are programmed for greatness. Anyone who will put you down, I chase them away. So, somebody come near you and it's not looking like where you are going. Amy Ati No, today, today, I, I separate myself from smallness. I separate myself from naughtiness. The programming is for kings. But when the person comes and is well dressed, well kitted, you are still going to pray. It comes with 12 digits and is tongue talking. 12 digits and is an usher in the church. Ombud. Carry fire. When, when, you, when, he, when he's praying, goose pimples all over your body. And, and he's so humble, he comes to you and say, Hello, sister, to no care. He, uh, uh, the, the, I believe the Lord is leading me. 
Then Tika says, Tika is blushing. Oh, <laughs> he said, well, the Lord is leading you to do what? <laughs> and after proposing, you are waiting upon the Lord. Day one, day two, day three, day four. They are still praying. And this man is, is loaded. He's a king. Kings will come to the brightness. There is something you carry. It can only attract kings. Not only attract kings. When somebody who is not in that class come, you just say to yourself, "No, I know what I prayed for. I know what I scripted for this year. I know what I programmed for this year. I didn't program shame." Say, but pastor, do, brothers who don't have twelve digit, do they have a chance? Now, you see, when I proposed to my wife, I didn't have one digit. So, it's not about what you have right now. It's about what you carry. Do you carry the grace of royalty? Is there a future? There are people, they have not one digit, and yet, they don't have God. That is a finished man. You may not have 12 digits as I'm speaking, but it is what I am saying now that will bring the 12 digits. You have so much position. You follow the word. You have on fire. Even the one God has given to you, the way you do it is as if you have 12 digits already. That is a king material. And that is the kind of man who should propose this year. If you are not there, please, after this service, check yourself whether you are in the faith. Praise the Lord. Check yourself and say to yourself, I think the way this pastor is talking today is talking to me. I must change the way I do things. My spirituality. And if you have 12 digits, you cannot pray. The 12 digits will disappear. Have you heard that wealth, they have wings. And they can fly. One sickness can finish 12 digits. A rich man died and the wife cried, Oh, do to woe. That, that money is a shame. Money has been disgraced. Money cannot buy life. So, what we share in this church and we say, Serve God. We are not joking. Let glory come upon you, let light come upon you. Marriage will be too small. It's not thin. Then shall your life break forth as the morning. This is a, a, a unique year for Ireland church member. It's time for revelation. Insight into reality. Knowing the things that matter for life. This, during this fasting, I want your eyes of understanding to be flooded with light. You know the things that belong to you by the enablement of the Spirit. And when you know it, nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take it from you because you have discovered it. It's your reality. It's your emma. That's what God is saying to us. And there is time for you. Let your faith come alive. Isaiah 60, 22. This is what will happen to you this year. A little one in this church shall become a thousand. This is what happens when light comes. Speed. And a small one, a strong nation. And he said, I, the Lord, will make it happen. I will esteem it in his time. This year, 2021, I will make it happen for you. Where somebody you consider small in your church becomes a strong nation. This is speed. Speed. Speed with accuracy. Light. Engineer speed. When, when you have light, you can run. If you have driven cars without full light before, I think they call it a lamp or something. If the headlamp is bad, you'll be driving small, small. You'll be looking for somebody who has light 
And that's what we have more in 2021. If you don't have light, you need somebody else who have light to kill behind. Make sure you generate light. You have your own rema. Customized word. Don't ride on pastor's rema. Get your own. Don't ride on your husband's rema. Get your own. Don't ride on your friend's rema. Get your own. Say, I have a friend. He's very spiritual. What about you? Go deep on the things of God. God has programmed glory. He has programmed favor. He has programmed unusual speed. That's what you will see. From that Isaiah 60 I've read. Verse 2 says, His glory shall be seen. So this year you will see glory. Favor. Gentile kings will come to the brightness of your eyes. Number two, this year you will see favor. You won't lobby. You won't beg. Eh? You will be in your space and God will be touching the heart of people to bless you. To give you jobs. To give you business. To promote your cause. People will be speaking for you in boardrooms where you are not present. Kings will come to the brightness of your rightness. Rising. And this verse 22. A little one among you will become a thousand. A small one shall become a nation. It all started from Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine, your light is come. Please, read Isaiah 60 on your kneel when you get home. Read each verse and pray in the Holy Ghost. There will be an encounter. When I read it and I got to verse 8, I fell into a trance. And I've told you that severally. Isaiah 60 verse 8. I got, I was reading every verse on my kneel by my bed. Arise, shine. I arise this year. When I got to verse 8, who are these that fly as a cloud and as a dove to their window? That is the day I started flying. As a dove to their window. Who are these that fly? Fly without limit. If you want to set a trap from a board, you don't do a trap in the air. You only come to set the trap on the land. In the air, in those days, you know what they call catapult. That's the only thing you can do in the air and it goes to meet the body. But you can't set trap in the air. You cannot. Who has this that fly as a cloud and as a dove to their window? That verse 8 for me is my reality. Loaded. That scripture was written with my name in mind. If you read the margin of your Bible, you will see Joseph Aboro right there. Look at it very well. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as a dove to their window. And from that day, I started flying to my various windows. Have you seen that it's a plural window? Not one, not two, not three. As a dove to their window. Where you want to get in 2021, you become unstoppable. No economy, no government can stop you. Can I hear a believer's amen? So, what is this number three again? Fasting and prayer will give you revelation, which is light. It will give you grace to see the invisible, the things God has made available for you. There is a need for this church to position yourself during this fast and begin to see certain things from the word of God. Settle down on the word. Eat the word. What will make you is the rema you discover yourself. Not the one that somebody discovered on your behalf. It's time for you. And you see, when we wait upon the law, the heavens is open for revelation. What you discover this time will determine what will change your life. How you will be. How the year will be. It's time for light. It's time to shine. It's time for speed. It's time for glory. Can I hear amen? Your light will determine your flight. No plane fly without light. In fact, no plane land without light. The whole tarmac is flooded with light. Then you see the plane touch down. If the plane needs to fly and it's in the night, you see lights everywhere. Your light will determine your flight. No light you can't fly. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as a dove? to their window. 
you want to fly in 2021, get light. Increase your light level. Settle down on the wall. Let light shine. You know, we talk about Jesus in Luke chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2 says he, was, he fasted, he went into the wilderness. Luke 4, 1 and 2. Now, verse 14. After the fasting, he returned in the power of the Spirit and his fame went to the region round about because of the fast. But let us look at what Jesus normally do, his normal custom. Verse 16, same scripture, Luke 4, 16. He said, he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom, this is his custom, he went to the church, synagogue, on Sabbath day. And he stood for to read. Jesus is a reader. That's why his fame went all over the world. You don't read, no light. That's why people were hearing about him. Give me about 17 now. Let's keep going. And the Bible says, And they delivered to him the book of the prophet of Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. You know we scripted this year. We wrote something about this year. And Jesus was reading about himself. Verse 18. And he said, the spirit of the Lord. This is Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. And it was written for Jesus. This year you will find your own word. He found Imagine you go to the temple and what they give you is your CV. Read your resume. The spirit of the Lord. He was reading his object clause in life. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel. He has sent me. He was reading his mission. To heal the broken and To preach deliverance to the captive. And recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty everyone that is bruised. He was reading his own word. And verse 19, something happened in verse 19. Verse 19, and to preach jubilee, the acceptable year of the law. And 20 now, 20, when he was reading that, the Bible said he closed the book. He gave it to the pastor and he sat down. And people did not look at pastor. The eyes of how many people? If the Bible says all, it's all. He has left the stage. Stage. The pastor now is in charge. He has the book, but the Bible says all eyes were of them that were in the synagogue fasting on him. You want 2021 your word to focus at you, Gerema. Get your word. Read the book. Read the book. Discover your own word. Then all eyes will fast on you. You want the camera, the light, everything to focus on you. You want to take the center stage in 2021, read the book. Verse 21. After doing all of that, verse 21, what happened? And the Bible says, and he began to say to them, today, 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 today. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. This day is this prophecy about me fulfilled in your ears. Please, if you want greatness in 2021, settle down. Read the Bible. Read the word of God. Read your own word. Discover your own rebel. They delivered the book and they found where it was written. Everything he wrote. There is something God wrote for you for this year. Until you study the word, you can't see it. Acts 20.32 is my authority on that. Acts 20.32. He said, brethren, I am not talking to unbelievers. I land church member. Now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word. You see the word? That's light. The word of his grace. This word is able to build you up and give you everything you are looking for. An inheritance among those who are sanctified. I like the last statement. So, we can all be in the choir, but those who discover the word, you will see it in their life. We can all be members of Island Church, but 2021 is for those who have their own rema. He said, I commend you to go out to the word of his grace that is able to build you up. This is the material, the word. 
and give you your own portion. He called it inheritance. Among all them that are sanctified. So, you can be sanctified and be begging. It is only those who get lemma that are sorted, that distinguish. You want 2021 to deliver maximally. You can finish fasting and nothing happen. No. Only light engineer flight. It's better you start thinking, I cannot kill myself and go and eat now if you are not ready. This year is for readers. This year is those who found, they have found their own world. You want the year to deliver. Don't just wait and break at 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. Study the word. If you have done two weeks of this fasting and you know that there is no rema, it's dangerous. It's better today. Cover the grounds you have lost. Start opening the Bible until you find the place where it is written concerning you. Then you begin to read your own thing. And thereafter, you close the book. From that moment, you found what belonged to you. Your whole world will focus on you. That's the eyes of everybody fasting on him. You want 2021 to deliver mercy Mali. Stay on the word. I commend you to God. Listen, we don't have juju. We don't have any other thing. This is what we have. The word of God will deliver anywhere under any situation. I commend you to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. The word is your future. There's no other thing. You stay on the word, you get a great future. Things work in your hand. The realm you have discovered will determine how 2021 and your entire world will be. Someone say, Pastor, how do I access the light? Light. How do I access revelation? Take your Bible. Take books, anointed material. Go to YouTube. Go to Facebook. Look for the page of Highland Church. Settle down there. There are so many messages we have preached in this church. If you feast there for the rest, the remaining seven days of this fast, Rema will come. The reason you need anointed books, anointed material and messages. And your Bible is because while you read your Bible, maybe there is something you don't understand. And the area of your need is empowerment of the Spirit. Go and look for all the messages I have preached on the Holy Ghost. What you want is fire. You are tired of this bad dream all the time. Just look for three messages on the empowerment of the Spirit. After those, that message, do the things we said there. Evil dream will just disappear. It's that simple. What you need is prosperity. Look for message on prosperity. Follow the instruction in that message. That is the end. Take your Bible. Take out United books. Listen to messages and position yourself. Jesus, I'm here for a change. 2021 will not be like 2020. Is somebody saying amen to that? And before you know it, light jump at you. Your own word come. And you know, Everybody can receive word like God bless you. But there is God bless you and there is God bless you. There is a God bless you that is deep. That you can never forget. It's an encounter. You know every time I share Isaiah 60 verse 8, I'm excited. Somebody will just be pitying me and say, Pastor, who are these that fly as a cloud and as a dove? to their window. After then, what happened? He doesn't understand. It's my reality. For him, it doesn't mean anything. But no, they share here when they can fly. What's all this? But there is something loaded in that scripture. There is power behind the logos. There is something. The life in that scripture jump at me. I know it's time to fly. I know that when men need to look for me, they need to lift up their eyes. I know I should not be where people used to find me. I know I should not operate at this level where you look at me this way. You need to look, lift up your eye. Then I have become a bird that fly. And I have become a dove flying into my various windows. Flying into my various opportunities. That came alive to me. You need to discover your own world. 
You need to find it. And when you find it, your portion is called your inheritance will now be delivered to you. This year, 2021, please, don't just fast because everybody is fasting. Fast because you need an encounter in the world. Let the word of God come alive to you. The prayer we are going to pray as we round up this section is that, Lord, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Can we read it from Ephesians 1, 17 and 18? That is Paul's prayer for the church in Ephesus. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 and 18. Let's pray from that scripture. He said, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of Greeley, we give unto you the spirit of wisdom. And what? And what? What is number three benefit of fasting? Revelation. I pray that God will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Why? Why? You see column there? Let me explain to you why. Verse 18. He said the reason you need the spirit of wisdom and revelation is that, that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. There is another eye apart from these two optical eyes. It's called the eyes of your understanding. It's the eye of your inner man. That you may know the hope of his calling. Why are you here on earth? Why did God spare you for 2021? He said that and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. You can be a child of God and not enjoy Christianity until you know the reason, the glory of his inheritance in the saints. What's your prayer point this afternoon? Lord, open my eyes of understanding. Pray for yourself right now. Open my eyes of understanding. 2021, I don't want to be like a mule that has no understanding. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Let me see beyond the veil. Let me see beyond the normal. Open my eyes of understanding. Lord, open my eyes. Somebody pray deep. Pray, pray intensely. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord. Rako parakota lava prada kata yala barada. Seko prada ya brada brada da brada brada da. Shala brada ya brada ya brada da basota lava. Rako da la brada ya la kata la brada. You are my hiding place. The light shines in darkness. Darkness cannot stop it. We are seeing the light. We are seeing the light. Atelo parakata la brada ya la brada ya kata. Shala brada ya kata la brada ya kata. Lord, open my eyes. Give me the spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. Spirit of wisdom and a revelation. Oh, Rapakata, Lada, Brada, Yelada, Brada, Dada, Katula, Brada, Brada, Dada, Yelada, Dada, Shaka, Lada, Baba, Baya, Dada, Kada. Help me to discover my heritage in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All eyes closed, all eyes bow. Is somebody here this morning? Please, Pastor, pray for me. 
I like to move close to God. I want to really, 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 really serve Him. I don't want to live in sin. I don't want to, I don't want to live outside God in 2021. Lift up your right hand. Let me pray for you. All about this all. Lift it above your head. This is your day. It's your day of salvation. Lift that hand above your head. This is your day. If you are lifting up your hand, say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy on me. Wash me by your blood. Make me whole. I confess Jesus, Lord, over my life. No more to sin. No more to the devil. Thank you, Jesus, for making me whole. In Jesus' name I pray. For those of you whose hand is up, I cover you in the blood of Jesus. Do not go back to your vomit. By your declaration this morning, you are saved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. If you said that prayer, a form has been given to you. Fill that form. The same person who gave you the form will come back to you and pick it up from you. Praise the Lord.